and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Mage Seeker 3000. Puppy decided to join me for a little bit for this deck. Uh, it's our last meme tier deck of the week. This is going to be a deck that um, looks kind of crazy. You know, and again, another viewer submitted deck. These are all viewer submitted decks today. That uh, is combining the Mage Seekers with Adaptatron 3000 and the Tex. So it's going to be like a, a variation on Heimerdinger Lux, um, where both of these both these uh, cards, you know, like both these champions want you to play a lot of spells, and Lux in particular wants you to play six plus cost of spells. Same with the Mage Seekers. The Mage Seekers, if you play a six plus cost spell, will do different things. Like this Investigator will create a Detain, um, and the uh, Persuader will get plus one plus one in Challenger. So like we have we have Remembrance, which is a really good six plus cost spell, but there's not like that many other great six plus cost spells. Um, but we have ther but with playing this deck, we have Thermogenic Beam and Production Surge. Production Surge is great to spend exactly six mana on. You get your six mana turrets. Um, you can have both your Mage Seekers. You get your Final Spark. But then also Heimerdinger really rewards you for playing these six cost spells. Like if you make it exactly six. Because you get the floor be gone. You get the 6 1 elusive, which is like the best turret to get the elusive. So we want to like have these be exactly 6 with either Heimer or Lux in play. Um, and so, yeah, so we'll be playing the Adaptatron with all of those. Also, go on Mage Seeker Conservator for an early blocker that can create some expensive uh, cards in hand, expensive spells. And then finally, we got some sweet top end in here. Against aggro decks, we got Judgment that maybe they're not going to be expecting. Um, we also have Unyielding Spirit against like the control decks to help keep one of our champions alive forever. Plus, Unyielding Spirit's gonna be kind of important with the detains. Like if we're if we're creating these detains, we want to have like an Unyielding Spirit, um, you know, on something so it can't take damage or die, and then detain stuff behind that. And then we will also have a progress day for some card advantage because we don't really have too much card advantage in here. So that's kind of the deck. And then besides that, just some other tricks. Um, one Purify that people don't really play, so like. We'll, uh, we'll surprise some people, probably, with that purifying. And that's the deck. All right, so let's go ahead and play five games over in normal with Mage Seeker 3000. So this is a, a uh, Heimerdinger deck, and we, we uh, you know, did the random number generator today for the, the champion spotlight for tomorrow, and it did hit Heimerdinger. So we're going to have um, three more Heimerdinger decks after this, um, for those of y'all watching later on YouTube. We're going to be playing those tomorrow, but they'll be the next videos. But those those um, Heimerdinger decks tomorrow are going to be more competitive than this, and built around um, you know built around three different regions with the three decks, and trying to find competitive Heimerdinger decks for ranked. Man, I don't want to kill that. All right, whatever, you can have it. So basically what I what I want to do here is I want to round three play Remembrance. Ugh. I take some damage. Because I want to round three play Remembrance because then that's a six plus cost spell for my Mage Seekers. The problem with that is if I, you know, if I would have thermoed the Sparring Student, even though that would have been great, then I just don't get to play this Remembrance on three because then I'm one mana short. Okay, so seeing you, you need a suggestion for something for the gauntlet, what are you currently using? Love hitting Screeching Dragon, B BT does. Screeching Dragon was the best card to hit. So we're getting lucky hitting that. What two decks do you have so far? For those who desecrate our home. They will find our lands do not take well to intruders. Alright, I'm going to go. I'm thinking about going like Mage Seeker Persuader and then like Thermo for two on the Aurelion. Mages can't hide from me. Yeah, that sounds good. I have a second uh, Mystic Shot also, but I'll just save the Mystic Shot. Oh, I guess I could single combat. Of 
Maybe that's even better. Maybe I should have just done that to begin with. Single combat, this is zero, so it doesn't level up. Yeah, actually, I should have just done that. I should just do that. They can keep Aurelia. But yeah, I should have done that first, right? Wow. They dead. They gone. I got these challengers. They don't want to deal with it. All right. Victory. Their champions are gone. That's a good win. Okay. Silver Zed. Silver Zed. Those two are definitely gone. And I guess I just keep the one drop, two drop. Even though they're not really doing anything yet. But it's you know just good to have one drop, two drop. Perfect. Production surge. Very good. Okay, so if round three, we would have six mana. Round four. If I okay, so if I if I play Adaptatron on one, Mage Seeker on two, nothing on three, save up spell mana. Round four I have seven mana. So then I can production surge for seven, which is good with the Adaptatron, and then also gives the Persuader Challenger. Desert, by my side. Yeah, definitely want to block the Doom Keeper. Sand and blood. But I want to block. Let me block. Let me block. Come on, Doom Keeper, don't be a coward. Keep that attack going. Hey, Atrios, I'm doing great today. How are you doing? Coward. Alright, I'll take two. Their guilt is evident. If it's made of sand, I can ride it. So if I play if I play the Mage Seeker, then I only have five mana next round, and I want to have more Let's mana than that next place. round. Dang, they got lots of rock hoppers. I go! I guess I trade a rock hopper for a mage seeker. They're gonna trade anyway. I don't love it, but it's not like we can do anything about like the one health, right? Like we don't we don't punish anything for being one health. It just gives me the seven one. Okay, well that's that was honestly really bad because like the barrier just goes around this, just goes away this round, and so I got no keywords on this adaptatron now. Wow, that could not have gone anywhere. I have never seen that happen before with with this. Oh, I should have production surge for zero and just put the zero one challenger into play and then gave both these challengers and killed those. Probably should have done that. Uh, I've never seen that before. Well, there's a first time for everything. First time for everything. Do not fear the shrouded path. I walk your path alone. Please control. Okay. Thank you, JJ. Right, it's, yeah, so, okay, so somebody says, I don't get the point of the Adaptatron, because even if it has all the keywords in the game, it's still a 1-3, and that is correct, it, it it will still be a 1-3, but the point is to share the keywords with all the other text, so all the other texts coming in are going to be, you know, like, 3-1s and 4-1s and that kind of stuff with all of the keywords. I liked it. See... They make Lux's smile too big, so it looks like condescending. But I think my opponent did a good job there. That was a good Nopify. That was a good use of the emote for the Nopify. You feel like Lux is condescending in her personality? Maybe. Oh, right, there's that thing that gives the Heimer vulnerable. That's kind of bad. This should be a good turn for us, though. If things work out like I want them to. 
My life for the order. Whoa, unyielding spirit? Unyielding spirit, this Heimerdinger? Next round? That could be what's up. Alright, so they all have fearsome tough. See what we see, soldier. So I'm only going to have seven mana next round. Yeah, that's too bad. Because that was going to give me Challenger. But then I would have been able to kill the Zed with the Challenger. Alright, so I like trading. Okay, because they could trade. Blah, 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 blah. Dimensions don't determine themselves. And then. Yeah, that's fine. I like trading because basically, like, we're going to make more turrets and everything, and, and we need more room. Out of my way. Well, that's too bad they nopified that next one. Maybe we draw Moon Silver and have the Unyielding Spirit cost 7 mana instead of 8. No. Seeing tombs, towns, and everything in between. Okay, got to level up Heimer. Heimer is still going to die. That's 6-4, so that means I'm taking 2. Do not deny me. I have many faces. Um, block, block, block. I could keep the 2-1 tough here, some alive instead of the 1-1. One, one. Sure, I'll do that. Yeah, so tomorrow, so every Wednesday, um, we do a champion spotlight where we try to build competitive decks for ranked with different regions with a single champion. And we use a random number generator to determine who it is. And so we, we determined it today for, for tomorrow's stream. And it landed on Heimerdinger. So we are going to be playing some more Heimerdinger decks starting tomorrow. Um, let's just go ahead and first Flash of Brilliance. See what's up. Give it all. Could be some keywords with that. But I'm probably just going to go ahead and progress day. Now, these are fearsome, fearsome, fearsome. You can't outrun justice. So I think I'm just going to attack. Restraint. I guess it's only three damage, isn't it? That's not actually killing them. Got a flurry of fists out of their hand. All right, so we have we have like three. Oh, no. I was gonna say we have like three mystic shots. Think I have overwhelm? No. Oh man, we're so close. Why not save that to block the elusive? Because I, yeah. So I figured that wasn't gonna work. Saving it to block the elusive wasn't gonna work, especially with them having Ruin Runner. 
I wasn't really expecting that to work. So I needed... Oh yeah, there's seven other run runner too. I was I thought my, my best chance was like finding Mystic Shot, which I still think that was my best chance. Cause yeah, like this this it wasn't gonna work of just holding sharp sight. So we have the three Mystic Shots in here. I mean I can't play Remembrance and Detain. Right, like that's ten mana. I have nine mana. Like that's I need Remembrance and Detain both, but I can't play both. Oh, we're dead to the Rune Runner. I will play my part. The Elusive we have covered with the Detain, but I had, I had nothing to cover with the Rune Runner. There we go. Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm playing three Targon decks in my Gauntlet, and all three of them have three Hush. I'm not playing any Moonlight Affliction, though. Zillion Yasuo. We'll keep one Persuader. Maybe I should be keeping both. Yeah, we were real close. Oh, see that Mystic Shot. First draw this game. That was the card that I needed. Now it's showing up. Them down. Got him down to one. Oh. Judgment would have been a great top deck too, but I guess we still would have died to Rune Runner. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. Control the mages. Keep the peace. It can be undone. Okay, probably just saving the spell mana this round. Yep. Our production surge was so bad last game. <laughs> Remember that? Like how we had the 7 mana production surge just hit the 7-1 barrier? That was brutal. Okay, we got Adaptatron to go along with production surge. Yeah, they they cast Nopify on the zero mana spell. That was it was a good play. It was a good play. Ooh, we hit this floor be gone. We got elusive. I dare you. That doesn't happen too often. That's, again. Right, I'm gonna just take this because this blade twirler will just get larger, so the conservator can block it the next round. Justice. That's two times in a row, though, that it just spent all of the mana on a turret. Nah. I don't want that to happen. I get this droplet out of here. Keep them from just getting the free card draw. Alright, down to 12. Here's our chance. Always rely on you to keep us safe. Mm. By doing this, I don't need to do that. Let's say by doing that, I wouldn't have that for Yasuo if I need it. But then I also just don't like. I want to have spell mana to go along with Lux this round, right? Like I want to play Lux, also have spell mana for stuff. So if I would have played that, I wouldn't have the spell mana for it. Uh, gotta love Zillion plus Bount Zillion replay Zillion. If we can undo what has been done, we can, Timekeeper. Let me show you. Mm -hmm. Underestimate. I dare you. They're getting more and more time bombs in the deck. Gonna have some time bombs. If we can undo what has been done, we can, Timekeeper. Let me show you. And I don't really care about this Blade Twirler attacking and kill my Mage Seer Conservator. 
Oh, that's a good card. Because I, I want this Mage Seeker Conservator to die, right? So I want to incentivize them to attack with the Blade Twirler. And trade that off. Strong arm? Okay. We can put that Blade Twirler in our hand. That could be cool. Another homecoming? Whatever it is, they scrying sand like this card, they scrying sands to the top of their deck. Concussive palm. Okay. Well that's gonna happen. They're down to eleven. I need to play four more mana of spells for that. I'm a little surprised they're not putting the Concussive Palm back in their hand. I kind of want to put the... I could put the Concussive Palm in my hand. Which one of these do I want to take? Do I want Concussive Palm or do I want Blade Twirler? I guess it's... Blade Twirler. Because then, if I if I do Blade Twirler, then I have two mana left, and so I can just kill the Concussive Palm. Because I don't want them bouncing now, Concussive Palm. Oh, right, I also get the... Okay, never mind, I should have done Concussive Palm. Because then I have Final Spark that would have killed Blade Twirler. Right, I forgot about Final Spark. Okay, so that was... Incorrect by me. By the light. Yeah, this is... When I'm recalled, oh, I guess it's maybe, maybe it's not actually, because it's not, it isn't specifically recalled, so actually maybe, maybe that doesn't work. Okay, actually, so, yeah, maybe I wouldn't actually get Concussive Palm. Confine and contain. You don't know what you're doing. All paths leave me here. So that thing, of course, is going to die to the time bomb anyway. So second zillion down. Uh, obviously, I want the mage or conservator to die. You can go out there, I don't care about you. You can take a damage. That's fine with me. Another monastery. Mind meld? Yo, mind meld? Whoa. This place reeks of foul magic. Rude. <clears throat> Gotta love a mind meld. So I'm doing this first to create the final spark. You wanna play a blocker? Go ahead. Go ahead, play a blocker. <laughs> All right, not a blocker. <laughs> Dude, Mage Seeker Conservator is awesome. Creating these spells. That's a big flex right there. Love that animation. And we have a double final spark. Well, that was pretty sweet. That was a cool game there from Mage Seeker 3000. The superior tactic is to never give up. Looks like we need three of those Mage Seeker Conservators. They've been awesome. Ooh, Zoe, Shivana, Rillian, Soul. 
Targon stuff. So Conservator gives you Skies to send. Yeah, I've gotten that one before. Alright, what do we have? We have Production Surge. We have a pretty good hand, actually. So we can, like, Production Surge on three. And then that will enable Mage Seeker to be able to create Detain. And then we'll also have single combat to fight stuff. And then... Thermo on four to kill Shivana. So we had we had one card trade with their one card, one for one, plus we got a two one and a one one, and then we also enabled these other mage seekers. So overall not, rage claws to get out. not bad overall. Kill it. Dead. Dead. No. No. We didn't kill it dead. They are nothing. Unfortunately I had sharp sight. So yeah, they're keeping my mana to be able to protect Shivana. Why not block this thing? I don't want to block this thing. I don't want them to get the the gem, the whatever it's called. I'll just take two. Sweet. So I'm hoping that doesn't mean that they have another bigger thing that kills this plus. Cool. Um, plus single combat like right there. Okay. So what do we got? We got another mage seeker. Nothing to worry about if you have nothing to hide. Strength in grace, beauty in the blade. Beauty in the blade. I forgot about flash brilliance. I should have done that first. And I also should pass right there. Like if I thermo to try to kill Screeching Dragon, they can have Screeching Dragon fight. Heimer, or I guess they get they could con concerted strike. Don't determine themselves. I guess I just pass. Kind of feel like that's something I should do though. I guess I just pass. Heimer behind this turret. We're gonna hide it. Thank you for my Heimer back. All these things just cost so much mana. So they did it incorrect. Oh no no, because then that thing bumped. Okay, never mind, never mind. Okay, yeah, they did it correctly. Kinda expecting that. What? We got another Heimer for a reason. Yeah, Heimer's not really even about the level up. Yeah, I know it's it's I've seen, but it's 
Yeah, it's just not even about, you know, it's getting free units. Man, that's a great card to have. So I only got three more. <laughs> We're good at getting like the most expensive thing we can have. We've been getting that quite a bun, quite a bit. I don't see what they do what they do before I play anything else. Okay. Ooh, that's a good call. T Hex could have Fury. I like that. What seems to be the problem? I like that. I like T Hex with Fury. I just can't really beat a really soul. They just drop a really soul, but they could have played a really soul last round. I really hope they don't. If they have, I mean, if they just have a really soul, I guess they got it. You know, like they've had all these other dragons that I've had to deal with. That was not a very good hush. Dang. Great, great hit for Eclipse Dragon, though, right? The Traveler plus um, Infinite Mind Splitter. I don't know if that gets really any better than that. That's about as good as that gets. I can't purify the Screeching Dragon. I have to purify this T-Hex. Which I guess I could have purified last time, and then I would have had an additional 2 1 tough, like if I would have purified right before Heimer died. But I did incentivize them to block it right there. Dragon blood, Demacian heart. I can't imagine we win this game. Certainly can't imagine we win this game. Nope. Really, this that Eclipse Dragon 
was that was a huge deal that eclipse dragon because the the nightfall on the eclipse dragon hit um the traveler which got them this cosmic inspiration and also that infinite mind splitter which made me you know use a bunch of cards to try to deal that infinite mind splitter all of that for the eclipse dragon that was a crazy good eclipse dragon Vanguard Sergeant's awesome. That's a good good card for us. That gives me hope. Discipline and steel. If I do this right now, I guess I kind of have to, because I can't, if I'm going to be casting four Demacia next round, I guess I have to do this right now. Okay, that's about as good as I could do. Now I take to the sky. So we have four things on block right now. Progress day! I don't know what you can get me, Progress Day. But it's gonna be good. I got 20 cards left. I've used two Heimer, zero Lux so far. So I have four champions left. Wasn't great. I guess. Oh, I should have double mystic shot the Shivana, shouldn't I? I. I was just thinking about the Nexus. I should have done that. Kind of rewarded. I had to wait for them to play that card because otherwise if I would have just uh, done it after they attacked, if I would have just done it, they could have healed the Shivana. I do love an audience. We still know that they have whatever Celestial card that costs seven or more that they chose, plus another good Celestial card. It's not... I like turning this into a 10-10 doesn't really help me against the Aurelian Soul. Okay, now we got um, some thralls to finish it out. 
let's... I mean, Sharp Sight's a, a wonderful card, but I want to find a spell that costs exactly six mana that I can play on round three. And that could be this Thermogenic Beam, it looks like. Might as well not waste that mana. My cause is righteous. I guess so. Hammer turn. What are they doing to kill Hymer? I'm not sure. I'm gonna play it though. Especially having like Lux next round too. Like, okay, that doesn't exactly kill Hymer. Doesn't exactly kill Hymer. So they could have Ice Shard that could stop Unyielding Spirit. Everywhere I go, Probably better on Yielding Spirit Lux anyway. Attack that in there. Nah. All right, the old purify. Got him. Got him with that. Tell me how I may serve you, lady. Completely and without question. Lux. Unyielding spirit, Lux. I can have another Lissandra, I guess. So probably super greedy for me to do this. But come on, we haven't played on Yielding Spirit all day, and I haven't played on Yielding Spirit in like weeks. No, right in negation, I didn't even think of that card. No, still haven't played that card in weeks. Reeks of foul magic. I agree. Rude. What? What do you want from me? All right, so I think I have to kill Lissandra. We can do damage to this eight eight. I guess the Lissandra is a little ways away from... It's a little ways away from leveling up. And I have another Thermogenic Beam for next round for Lissandra. I've been hiding my life too long. Yeah, I'm, I'm more worried about like all the 8-8 thralls as far as purifying this than the Watcher. Because like, by, the, by the time they would get the Watcher, they would already have four 8-8 thralls at that point, and... Like, how did I stay alive through all that, right? I have to slow them down with this Inquisitor. Which I... Probably shouldn't have got my... Uh, probably should not have got my Unyielding Spirit countered. That's going to be a mess. Oh, 
Ooh, I like that card. I really don't want this thing just creating a whole bunch of ice shards. No! Gallant Rider. I'm not sure how you are really going to be challenging anything, Gallant Rider. Confine and contain. You don't know what you're doing. That's pretty true. The Vanguard will have to fall. Why can't you detain landmarks? <laughs> That'd be nice to be able to detain a landmark. Ooh, good card. Obviously, if they have any removal for the Lux, I'm just dead on the spot, right? I can't win if they do. So it's not like I can even play around that. Yeah, or they just have right negation. So yeah, like I can't play around that. All right, good game. Losing is just an opportunity to shine even brighter. And another 2-3. <laughs> I think that's seven straight 2-3s since since we 5-0'd twice in a row. Then the last three decks yesterday and all these decks today are all two threes. <laughs> this is the two three stream over here. That's what we like doing. Um, but you know, like that's why these are these are meme tier decks, right? Like whenever we, we play against like the top tier metagame decks, which I I love. I think the the, the thrall deck is absolutely amazing. Uh, I always lose to the thrall deck, so you know we play against the really good decks, we lose, and uh, with these meme tier decks. Um, and then we kind of go 500-ish against the other decks. That's that's been pretty common of us going like two and one against non like tier one decks, and then going 0-2 against tier one decks. That's kind of how it's been for most of these videos. You know, like that. You know, Shivana really in Soul tier one deck, and that that uh, Thrall deck amazing. Those are our last two losses. Um, and went two one against the other decks. Uh, but yeah, Mage Seeker Conservator overperformed that card looked really good but um you know overall like it's it's this is kind of a weird deck right adaptatron didn't really ever do anything didn't really matter i could see replacing adaptatron with other things that other cards that matter more um but i did like production surge i thought production surge went really well with a lot of these cards it just kind of gave us another way to play a six mana card or you know that had upside that could do a lot of different stuff and I think it, I think it paired really well with like just the Mage Seekers and with Heimerdinger and with Lux, um, and things like that. So I did like the production surge, but yeah, Adaptatron didn't really do anything. Purify actually was good multiple times, and you know, like there is like the Purify Detain combo. So maybe, you know, maybe something's there of like more Purify, like another, like instead of these Adaptatrons, maybe like another Mage Seeker Conservator, another Purify, and then I want something else. Maybe some other removal spell. I mean, there is Concerted Strike. But maybe, like, some other kind of removal for big stuff. It would be nice to have, like, Ruination in these. Um, or just, like, some like some more card advantage, right? Like, we were running out of cards. Um, there's not many cards that actually draw cards in these regions. There's Static Shock, but unfortunately, like, you have to do damage to enemies with Static Shock. I would like Static Shock to, like, pick off my Mage Seer Conservator, to be honest. Um, but maybe that's 
just a kind of a card that you need. Um, actually, you know what? I'd play a Repost in here. Repost just always looks good. Like Repost on like a high like because you know we played against a lot of challengers. Like Repost on like a, a Heimerdinger when they challenge it, like and have it trade up. I don't know. Repost could just like do some work, right? Like Repost on like just a lot of just random cards. I don't know. I could see that doing work and like helping us in combat. You know, like these uh, random turrets that like that's not going to be a card that people are going to expect. So yeah. So there we go. So I, I would that's what I'd recommend. Remove the Adaptatrons for maybe some other stuff like that. All right, but those of y'all watching later on, on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave those comments. It's going to be Mage Seeker 3000 here. We're going to have some more. If you like Heimerdinger decks, we're going to have more Heimerdinger decks tomorrow that will be um, a little bit more competitive that we're going to try to build some Heimer decks for ranked with uh, three different regions. Obviously, Targon is going to be one of the regions because that's definitely the best Heimer region is Targon. We'll have to uh, figure out, two, you know, and I'll uh, think about it tonight. We'll have to figure out two other regions to pair with Heimer. All right, but that's going to be it here for this one. And that's going to be it for meme tier decks for the week. Back to rank tomorrow. Uh, again, those of y'all on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.